Hi again, our first patient is Emily. Before starting this video, please note this is a series of four videos and it's a good idea to go through the basics of JCC first by clicking the link above. With Emily, we are starting from scratch, so no autorefraction, no retinoscopy. She presents with uncorrected VA of 6.9 minus 2. We follow the steps of subjective refraction and check sphere first. Emily accepts minus 1 sphere, correcting her to 6, 7.5 vision. Now, based on the rule of thumb we discussed in the previous video, we need to choose a 0.25 cross sill. And we're going to go fishing for sill. We first must present minus, which is shown as the red line at 90 degrees in the trial frame, which Emily tells us in this case she doesn't like. We then show her the JCC markings at 180, so it's in the 180 meridian, and this time Emily likes it. So we are going to place the minus 0.25 sill at 180 in the trial frame. Note, if Emily hadn't liked either axis, you would then present the JCC at 45 and 135, the oblique axis, and go from there. Still following our rules from before, we first start off with refining the axis. To do this, we align the handle at 180, and we need to flip to provide the patient with two options. Remember what we said before, we must follow the red, which is the minus. In this image, we are going to follow the red marking closest to the handle, so we are going away from the 180. With option two, you can see the JCC handle is still aligned at the 180, but we flipped it. So this time the red marking closest to the handle is taking us away from the 90, closer to the 180. In most cases, you need to show the patient the option several times. So with Emily, we say to her, is it rounder with option one here or option two? And then flip again, option one, which is taking us closer to the 90 or option two, which is taking us closer to the 180 and away from the 90. Emily decides she likes option one. So we move our loose lens in the direction of the red markings. Hence, we follow the red, which is the minus. So we're going to move our minus 025 loose lens sill 20 degrees away from the 180. So that takes us to 160. And we'll continue doing this refining and bracketing until we get the correct axis. Again, we align the handle of the JCC at 160 and flip showing the two options. In this image, the red marking is taking us away from the 160, closer to the 90. In option two, the red marking closest to the handle is taking us closer to the 180. So as always, we show the patient the option several times. So option one, taking us away from the 180, and option two, taking us closer to the 180. Option one, or option two, and Emily decides she likes option two. With option two, we're going to move our JCC 10 degrees closer to the 180, so that places us at 170. We still refine and repeat again. So we align the handle at 170 and flip showing the two options. So with option one, we follow the red marking, taking us away from the 180, closer to the 90. And with option two, we're going closer to the 180. So again, we're showing option one and option two, and Emily reports there is no difference or they're very similar. So we know that our axis is going to be at 170. Axis complete, now onto seal power. To demonstrate power, we align the marking, not the handle of the JCC. So in this image, we can see that we have aligned the black marking, which is less minus, at the axis we found 170. When we flip the JCC, we show option two, which is red, which denotes more minus, still aligned at 170. We can flip as many times as we like to show Emily her options. Emily likes option two, so red, which means more minus. In this case, we need to increase the seal power from minus 0.25 to minus 0.50. Going back to the basics, we are now at step four, so we need to recheck the sphere, and Emily's achieving really good vision. So our final prescription is minus one, minus 0.50 at 170, achieving 6.6 vision. And that's Emily's refraction done.